Hello and welcome to tutorial number one in the Group Jive 3.0 series. Once again, we're using our uh, test tutorial website and we've upgraded to 2.0.12, which is a prerequisite for Group Jive 3.0. And the first thing we're going to do is actually install all the CB related plugins for Group Jive 3.0. So I go to my install CB plugin management area. I do a change file and these are all the elements of the group chive 3.0 RC1 package. So I basically I have unzipped this and I have this list of packages that I need to install. The first thing I will install is the plug CB group chive this is the main plugin, and I'll just upload and install it. Okay, and then I'll just continue with the remaining CB group jive about, events, file, forums, photo, video, and wall plugins. Let me just pause this video and go through them one at a time back I just installed the group jive wall plugin so I've installed all the community builder plugins in the package but there are also two Joomla packages I need to install so I just go to the Joomla installer and this time I'll just install the module initially okay success message and then I'll install the search plugin Group Jive search bot. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, let's just take a look at our database. I mean, just to, to see what's happening here. This is the database for my CB tutorials. And if I scroll down, we'll see a set of Group Jive categories table group jive groups group jive invites notifications plugin events plugin events attendance plugin file plugin photo video wall and users these are just extra tables that were created when we installed our group jive plugin okay now let's take a look at the plugin management area when we install something by default it's not published so we'll see here we have the cb group jive group jive about events everything here it has a red x next to it so let me just go ahead and select all these one at a time two three four five six seven eight i missed this one eight okay and just do a publish so I'm publishing all of these. Okay, and let's just go ahead and refresh here just to see that once I've published all these plugins, I see an extra menu item here that basically I can use to get to various group chive backend areas easily. And I see basically these buttons here category, group, users, invites, and so on. And there's some more here, files. These are just back in areas for group jive that I can also get to from the group jive menu here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do actually is create two categories, group jive categories, add new category. A category, a group jive category is basically just a placeholder that can accept group jive groups so let's call one category languages sorry Greek keyboard here languages and let's just put a description here this category has group jive groups for translation projects okay Let's keep everything the way it is by default. And this is to save and new. And let's put the second one, call it CB 
add-ons and this categories of, of course contains groups actually let's just use group jive groups so we understand that it's different than the joomla group about cb add-ons everything else the same save and close now okay so if i look now in my group jive categories i see that i have these two categories now let's go and create some groups here back end again add new group and let's put let's call one test group And this is but this is a test group. I'm not doing anything here with the sorry. With the uh, canvas or logo items, I'll keep this uncategorized. Save and close. Oh, sorry, I have to put the owner ID. Save and close. So I have my one group here. Let's create two more groups. Let's call one Greek. Group Jive. Group for Greek translation project. And let's put this under the languages category. Again, the owner 801, which is my super admin. Uh, in the stable release this will probably be populated by default save and close and let's add one more group and let's just put this in the add-ons group and let's call it group jive and this is a group about the Group Jive add-on. Okay. Save and close. Oops, sorry, forgot the owner ID, 801. Save and close. Right, so now I have basically in the groups area, I see I have three groups I created. One is not doesn't have a category, and the other two are in the languages and the CB add-ons category. Now what I want to do is expose these groups in the front end, so I need to create two menus, basically. Let's click on the Add New Menu, and it's called this one Group Jive All Categories. Menu type, I'll select Community Builder, scroll down to the plugin area. There we go, and then in the plugin scroll and find the CB group jive plugin no, not the about sorry the group jive one there we go and it's the action I select all categories save and close and let's do a second one now and let's call this one group jive all groups Select again community builder plugin. Scroll down to the CB group jive. Again, I missed that again. <coughs> CB group jive. There we go. And instead of all categories now, let me find the all groups and save and close there we go now if i go to the front end now and do a refresh on my home page i'll see i have two new menu items here one is called group jive all categories and one's called group jive all groups if i go to the all categories i will see the two categories i created i'm not seeing the uncategorized groups just the two categories are created and I see that the first one has one group in it and the second one has one group I can just click on this and go drill down and see the group in that category and since I'm logged in right now as a super admin 
I'm also given the option to create a new group if I want in there or not. And if I look at group type all groups, I'll see the three groups I have, the test group, which does not belong to a category, the Greek languages category group, and the group chive CB add-ons category group. And I can go to any one of these actually. And actually before I go here, so I'm just log out as a super admin and log in as a simple user. So let's just log in as NAND. Password. Okay. <coughs> it's better to explore this way. So if I go now to the uh, group chive groups item, and I see I have a join button here in each one of these. I can just simply click one at a time to join each one of these groups. So now that I've joined all three, let's just go to the group chive group here. And I look at the users tab here and I see that the super admin of course there, and I'm also in this group. I can go and create a new event if I want, upload a file, upload a photo, video, wall, users, and I can do a new invitation. Okay, I'm stopping here. You can explore all of these. I'll be exploring each one of these in a follow-up tutorial, but I just want to quickly get us started uh, installing an initial configuration, which is basically, basically the two menu items uh, that I have. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for follow-up tutorials. Bye-bye.